Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the low level of energy during the exercise and after the exercise, you will feel the weakness due to some reason. Uh, whenever you will go to the gym or workout, so after during the recovery, you will not sleep easily and that is a lot more problem and you will feel the weakness in your body so what is the problem in this video we will understand about how it can work and what is the basically time for the go to the gym for exercise and we will also understand about what is the diet which that is important for the uh, normal health of your body for exercise so let's understand about that basically the first of all we will understand about the energy level decline due to the exercise whenever you will go into the gym so you will uh, up lift the weight you when you will lift the weight and hard training which that will lead to use more energy atp but it is basically initial phase that will feel the more more and more uh, energy decline and you will feel the weakness due to the less mitochondria in your in your cell uh, even due to the inactivity in the long term so after when you will go into the gym uh, so the first month and two months which that require very very hard time and very hard exercise for uh, again adaptation for that exercise if you are uh, basically a, if you are a new so it requires too much time so uh, the mitochondria increase uh, with the passage of time will lead to increase more production of ATP so in this way your body will lead to go into the lactic acid formation due to the less oxygen consumption if you are exercising with uh, uh, aerobic exercise so the mitochondria is less so the ATP production will be less so remember that things on the other hand important thing you should need to understand the potassium magnesium and calcium is too much important for the muscle contraction with the rise of the ATP so the biogenesis of the mitochondria is very important for the clear this weakness and produce quick energy through a aerobically through oxygen consumption so it requires time but uh, don't uh, uh, worry about that you can clear that uh, after the one one month or two months because i know that is very hard time for you to work uh, and feel the anxiety stress so number two thing is that when you go into the gym so the sympathetic nervous system activation the fight and flight response so in this way the important thing you should need to understand that when fight and flight response stimulate the stress hormone that is known as the cortisol hormone cortisol hormone will increase and rise will lead to increase the glucose production from the liver because the liver produce glucose and that glycogenolysis will occur even the muscle also produce but in the initial phase our body will not learn how to shut down this sympathetic nervous system and how to activate the parasympathetic nervous system during the night time after the gym so you will feel the sleeplessness insomnia and other things and the restlessness and that is due to the sympathetic nervous system will not go into the decline so in this way the parasympathetic nervous system will not activate so in this way what is the key to inhibit this so remember that things basically you should exercise in the morning time not in the night time because night time is important for the sleep so you will not feel the restlessness and any other problem so in this way you can clear that this is the number one thing on the other hand the low level of energy is due to the mitochondria decline and the uh, decrease of the mitochondria the number how to replicate how to increase that is important thing so you should stress and on the other hand the high protein diet and fasting 
as well as the other uh, um, uh, strategy for intermittent fasting and exercise will lead to basically progress your body and your body will feel very cool and calm this is the important reason so uh, basically the high mineral containing like green vegetable is too much important for clearance of the uh, potassium calcium sodium and magnesium and zinc deficiency on the other hand it is also important for the iron so the iron is also important for the capturing of the oxygen to uh, uh, to uh, provide to the tissue for aerobic respiration so the lactic acid production will decrease whenever the lactic acid produce more will lead to lactic acidosis and that will lead to cause fatigue in your muscle so that will be decreased whenever your hemoglobin will increase the iron deficiency will not occur so in this way the oxygen will dispose into the, your tissue easily and the hypoxia and hypoxemia is the term in this way the decrease of the oxygen in your blood is a hypoxemia and decrease of the oxygen in your cell is known as the hypoxia that will lead to cause injury and reactive oxygen species production also and the apoptosis of the cell will not grow your muscle even not your grow uh, your mitochondria and that is very important to understand so remember that thing and in this way you can basically uh, you can improve this so the major key to success for this problem solve, solving process is the exercise daily regularly break down your muscle and repair break down your muscle and that will lead to basically even ultimately you will adopt and your if uh, fast twitch muscle intermediate twitch muscle and the slow twitch muscle basically you should transform the slow twitch muscle into the fast twitch muscle due to the running sprinting and uh, other things and when you will go into the gym so the slow twitch muscle also develop but the fast twitch muscle so the mixture of the muscle fiber is very important for the normal health so in this video we have discussed about the uh, uh, about the uh, basically is the weakness of your body after the gym so you should clear that due to the uh, uh, high uh, high healthy diet like high protein and omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid which that are present in the fish in the chicken and beef even mutton so that is the meat product but also green vegetable and legumes which that is also source of the amino acid provide more strength and biogenesis of the mitochondria importantly and in this way your lungs will also capacitate to inhale more oxygen to the disposing uh, to the tissue for providing the aerobic respiration to inhibit the lactic acidosis whenever the mitochondria increase and the hemoglobin due to the iron consumption increase will lead to clear that some problem and in this way your uh, basically increase your potassium level also function well and that all things will be uh, important so i uh, i hope you make sense about that on the other hand the testosterone when decline also lead to cause fatigue and the muscle weakness but that testosterone boost due to the exercise with the passage of time will clear even the growth hormone also so the exercise is the key for success uh, to prevention of this weakness so importantly the exercise and fasting give the rest to your body as a recovery and then again give the stress will lead to basically improve your body and even hopefully you will clear that weakness and fatigue thanks for watching if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share see you in the next video for this and bye